So in this video, we're going to be going in creating a mobile monkey account and we will be linking that to our Facebook page. So first and the foremost thing what we have to do is we have to go to mobilemonkey.com and we simply have to click on sign up for free and it will give us an option to simply just log in via our uh, messenger so it says get started for free obviously you can just go ahead and read all of those stuff which is there and click on this get started for free so if you are logged in you will get an option that uh, would you like to proceed with that particular account so i'm going to log in over here and uh, i have a dummy account so i'm going to log in with that and as soon as you log in it will ask you to continue with your name as i mentioned so continue as prateek singh so I'll just click on that. It will ask you choose what you allow. I'll just say OK. And it will give you a couple of options over here wherein it will ask you to link up your Facebook page, which Facebook page you want to link with this particular mobile monkey account. So obviously you can change it later on. You can just unlink your Facebook page. You can link up new pages. You can link multiple pages to this particular mobile monkey account. Now, uh, I'm going to just uh, select this particular one, Digital Pratik Company. Now, th this is just a Facebook page which I have just plainly and simply clear, uh, created for this particular uh, video purpose. So, I'm going to click on Connect. And it will say, Welcome to Mobile Monkey. We are excited to have you on board. Let's get started. Work email. So, I'm going to enter my email over here. And I'll mention the company name. So I'll just, for the sake of proceeding, I'll just mention Digital Pratik. Monthly Facebook advertising spends, I'll just say none, or you can just select any of those things. I'll say complete. And it will ask me to continue as Pratik Sinchurasma or whatever your name is uh, on your Facebook account. So I'll click on that. And it will say, let's get you started. Let's do this. Uh, set up your welcome message now you can just ignore all of these things you can uh, like um, set this up later on once we are inside mobile monkey so for the timing i'll just say looks good let's keep going and uh, let me just put this a little bit on the top so over here so as it is saying over here chat now test your new bot so i can click on this and uh, test my bot so that is what i'm going to do so let's click on continue as pratik singh continue and there you go the bot is functioning digital pratik company welcome to digital pratik company can we send you promotional updates i will say let's say no thanks Oh, well thanks anyways so that's uh, like like the bot is completely working so it is the test mode is on so let me just put this video over here click on continue and it will say visit our website so you can just insert your website over here so i'm gonna write digitalpratik.com and uh, you won't be able to remove this powered by mobile monkey watermark or the branding uh, thing because you'll have for that you'll have to upgrade uh, which i'll show you later on in our um, modules so i'll just say all set let's keep going what are you planning to use mobile monkey for this is just for uh, their purpose they are just taking a survey so i'm just going to click on messenger advertising customer support surveys appointment settings Website chat widget, e-commerce, newsletters, chat blasting, and lead generation qualification. That's it. Click on submit. What language you want? For me, it's English. Continue. It says, what should the bot do when it does not know how to respond to a specific question? So let's suppose at times what will happen is uh, you might have configured a automated message for your bot for certain things, just like we just uh, said no thanks and automatically there was a message that oh well thanks anyways 
So those kind of messages when they are not configured and if uh, somebody is asking you random question and if there is not configured, uh, there, there is no configuration in your bot, what should be done, right? This, this question means that. So would you like to ignore the question or would you like to send a default message? Now it is saying that it is recommended, but I personally, I ignore the question. The reason is because at times when we have, let's suppose a default message, sorry, I'm a bot, but someone real will be right with you. Uh, I personally don't want to send that. Now it, it's totally up to you. It is my personal choice. Earlier I had this configured, but now what I do is I just go through every single day. What I try to do is I just go through my messages and 95% uh, of the things which I want is already automated. A couple of things which are not, what I do for that, I'll just show you as we progress in this particular course. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you. All right. So I'll, for the time being, I'll just ignore the question, submit and all of these options. Obviously, you can change it later on. So either of which you select, that's perfectly all right. We can change it later on, which I'm going to show you. Uh, congratulations, your bot is set up. Send a welcome message or skip to dashboard. Let's click on send welcome message. And before that, we can edit welcome message as well. So click on that and we'll once again go to this welcome to digital to the company and blah, blah, blah. So I'm once again going to click on looks good, continue, all set, let's keep going, submit, continue. I wish there was a button which uh, we, for which we can just go like this. So you can just click on this, but unfortunately it's for, for the first time user, they don't know whether it we have to click on this or not, but it is actually working. All right. This was just a test, which I did and I came to know that yes, these buttons are working. So I'm going to say ignore the question, submit and uh, skip to dashboard. Welcome to the new dashboard, get started and bingo. I'll close this. So finally, we are into this. So it says uh, digital with the company is connected, enter chatbot builder. And here are a few things which will start populating once you have your bot set up, once people start interacting with your bot, once you start sending some chat blasts, uh, don't worry if you are not aware about what chat blast is. Obviously, I'm going to explain you. I'm going to explain you how to send chat bots, what are audiences, how do you segment them, how do you retarget, uh, how do you run your retargeting campaign or how do you run your retargeting messages for specific audience sets based upon how they are interacting with your, with your bot, uh, how to send click to messenger ads, past seven days results, more or uh, more chatbots advanced you can click on this and you can create create new chatbots and right over here you can just click on edit or you can completely delete the chatbot so what will happen if you delete let's me let me just show that to you if i click on delete it will ask me to type delete click on delete and bang like that currently now for this account we don't have any of the chatbots all right we don't have any chatbot so I click on create new chatbot. So accidentally in future, if you are deleting your chatbot, you can just click on create chatbot. You can enter your chatbot name. So let's say I will say um, main bot. And there you go. Start from a template. You can actually select any of these templates. All right. Real estate template, survey template, lead generation template, e-commerce template, beauty salon template, auto repair template, dentist template, gym template all of these all right so let's suppose if i click on this and click on create bot what will happen is gym template will be uh, imported into my account and automatically all the messages would become configured but obviously you will have to change here and there and for that you'll have to understand how a uh, mobile monkey account works what are uh, what are the widgets what all options are there uh, what are the things you should be doing when it comes to automation what are the buttons what are the things in there I mean, look at this. I mean, now if you are a brand new V and even if you are using the template, it would make no sense to you because you don't know how to use all of these things. How do you uh, add some pages? In fact, what actually is a page? You don't even know that. So uh, I would recommend start from scratch and follow all the procedure, all the method, all the video tutorials step by step without skipping any single video so that you get the most out of this particular a uh, module or a particular course segment all right so once again i'll go to main bot it will ask you to upgrade to pro which we will do later on but i'll just go to more chatbots and uh, right over here i'll click on delete type delete click on delete and there you go 
I'll just simply create a new board. I'll say main board and without selecting a template, I'll just say build from scratch, click on create board. And there you go. Now I don't have anything. If I go to main board, I don't have any template selected for this particular one. Now currently this bot is not active on my Facebook page, which is this particular page. Once I click on activate, it will start the bot on that particular one. So whenever somebody is interacting with my bot, depending upon what I have configured inside, it will start automating my process for the brand. So I can activate or I can just enter the uh, chat builder. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. And that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.